a Christmas carol. So now has come our joyful feast, an old Christmas poem by George Wither. So now is come our joyful feast, let every man be jolly. Each room with ivy leaves is dressed, and every post with holly. Though some churls at our mirth repine, round your foreheads garlands twine, drown sorrow in a cup of wine, and let us all be merry. Now all our neighbors' chimneys smoke, and Christmas logs are burning, their ovens they with baked meats choke, and all their spits are turning. Without the door let sorrow lie, and if for cold it hap to die, we'll brew it in a Christmas pie, and ever more be merry. Now every lad is wondrous trim, and no man minds his labor. Lasses have provided them a bagpipe at a tabor. Young men and maids and girls and boys give life to one another's joys, and you anon shall by their noise perceive that they are merry. Rank misers do now their sparing shun, their halls of music soundeth, and dogs thence with whole shoulders run, so all things there aboundeth. The country folks themselves advance, for fiddlers they come out of France, and Jack shall pipe, and Jill shall dance, and all the town be merry. George Wither The praises of poetry have been often sung in ancient and in modern times. Strange powers have been ascribed to it of influence over animate and inanimate auditors. Its force over fascinated crowds has been acknowledged. But before Wither, no one ever celebrated its power at home, the wealth and the strength which this divine gift confers upon its possessor. Fame, and that too after death, was all which hitherto the poets had promised themselves from this art. It seems to have been left to Wither to discover that poetry was a present possession as well as a rich reversion, and that the muse has a promise of both lives of this and of that which was to come.